So there's a hack on Instagram that's making people lose access to their accounts. And I've been spending the last couple of days trying to replicate it and it works. I am now able to get access to millions, if not trillions of accounts. Um, but obviously I don't want to. So instead I'm making this video. In this video, we're gonna be talking about how these hackers are doing it with coding, how the hack works, how Instagram can fix this, and how you can stop getting hacked. All right, so here's how the hack works. These are screenshots from my friend that actually got hacked last week and lost her account, but she got her account back and everything, so it's all good. It starts off with one hacked account and they message one of their close followers or you know friends on Instagram and they say something like, I was trying to log into my Instagram page on my new phone and they asked me to find someone to help me receive a code. Instagram gave me suggestions from two friends and you are one of them. The other person is not online. Would you help me receive the code, please? And so they do some hacking with Instagram, which we're gonna see, which makes Instagram send a reset password link via text message to the victim. And so then the hacker says, please screenshot and send it to me. Don't click on it when you receive it, thanks. And honestly, it looks pretty chill. So yeah, my friend sent it. This is what the text message looks like and it's mad vulnerable because it's the reset password link for the victim, not the hacker. Once the hacker gets this link, they can type it into their browser and reset the password of the victim's account and gain access to the victim's account. And then with access, they can do the same thing to their followers and then hack more accounts. The reason why this works is because one, the message comes from your friend's account. Two, the reset password link is from Instagram's official number. And three, you pretty much trust that Instagram wouldn't let your own account be hacked by a link that they sent you. And also, if this hack gets traced back to an account that sent these messages, then that account can just claim that they got hacked too, or they were hacked, so it wasn't them sending the messages. And yeah, that's just how the hack works. Okay, so now let's try to do the same thing. So check me out, right? All we know is the user's username, and we have to somehow give this to Instagram and make Instagram send a reset password via text message to the victim. Then the victim will send a screenshot of the text message to the hacker and get hacked. Okay, so first, let's just try to do forgot password on the Instagram website. So let's send the login link. And we see here that it sends it via email. And if we check the email, we see this reset password. And email is fine because there's no link that you can screenshot. If you see here, it's hidden behind this button. And so if you click this button, it's gonna go to the same link that's sent via text, but it's not as vulnerable because you can't screenshot it and send it to the hacker. So yeah, in this case, Instagram isn't that bad. Not bad, my sucker bugger, not bad. Oh, so now we're gonna have to see how Instagram processes our requests to them. Then once we see how they process our request, Maybe we can change the request up so that it forces Instagram to send the reset password via text instead of email. Okay, so the way we're gonna be doing this is through something called a proxy. And here I drew another picture for you guys. And so our computer is sending information to Instagram, right? But if we put a proxy here, it's gonna be in the middle of our computer and Instagram so we can read the messages being sent back and forth. And so we can even change that information. So what we're looking for is pretty much our computer is gonna be sending like, yo, I need you to send a reset password link to this username. You know, I used my tester underscore SG99. And I'm looking for like a field in that request that says email true or false, or maybe text message true or false, so that we can choose if Instagram is gonna be sending it via email or text. So yeah, let's try it out. Okay, so we're back on Google Chrome. And here we're just using this thing called a network monitor that lets us see the request going back and forth. Okay, so let's send the request to reset our password. And we see here on the network monitor that a request went out that says account recovery send Ajax. And yeah, this is the request from our computer telling Instagram that we need the reset password. And so here we go over to payload, which is like the information that we're sending. And here it says email or username tester sg99 and that makes sense because that's the username that we're using 
but we don't see here any option to do text message or anything like that. On the Instagram forgot password, we see that it actually has an option for us to give us the phone number. So let's see how that works. It sends the reset password link via text message, which is vulnerable. And on the network monitor, we also see, again, it sends a request to Instagram account recovery send Ajax. But instead of the username, the field is the number. And this is cool and all, but the problem is that we don't know the phone number. All we know is the username, so we can't input or send Instagram this phone number for it to work because we just don't know what it is. And yeah, so then we can try it on our phone via our iOS app, but the problem is that it's the same exact thing. It defaults to sending the email reset password, which is not vulnerable, instead of the text message, which is vulnerable. Okay, so at this point, I was just grinding looking at the network traffic, but honestly, it was not looking good. Uh, I pretty much almost gave up on this. I thought the hackers were too good. Um, I went to the beach, which is pretty cool. I also brought together the smartest minds at CMU to help me think about this problem. And <laughs> honestly, they didn't even try to help me, but it's all good. I went on YouTube and I found this video. So I have write the phone number on my Instagram find session. So tap on next. And yo, on an old Android version of Instagram, they let you decide whether to send the reset password via email or SMS. And this is exactly what we need. If we can just look at how the Android app is sending the request to Instagram with this field deciding SMS or email, then we pretty much have the hack. Okay, so I started up a virtual machine, which just means I have a simulated Android phone on my computer. Um, people usually do this so they can run Android apps on their MacBook or something. Uh, this is me playing Subway Surfers. Hey, look at me go. And so yeah, we can download an old version of Instagram and take a look. First, let's just try it out with the username. For some reason, the text is all garbled and I actually have no idea why, but it's whatever. And yeah, here we see that there's options for sending an email, sending a text message, or doing Facebook. So we'll select SMS. And here we have a text message from Instagram saying that, you know, we can reset the password in plain text. Okay, so now the same thing. Let's start up a proxy server and listen to the traffic. And yeah, actually it doesn't work now. And so after doing some research online, I found that Instagram actually blocks proxy servers on their Android apps so that you can't listen on the network traffic. And so yeah, this is just another roadblock. Uh, this just means that we have to do more reverse engineering. And so what I'm thinking is that all these apps or like any program in general is just at the very core of it is just a list of computer instructions. So there's one computer instruction in the Instagram app that says if this person is using a proxy, then block the traffic. So what we can do is change this instruction to say, if it's a, if the person is using a proxy, then just let it through. And so, yeah, let's try that out. And actually good news is that people have done this before and wrote an article online. So let's take a look at it. And yo, you know, a coding article is about to be hella good and written by some kind of weird, hella smart person when they write bingo with an exclamation mark in it. Okay, so first we have the binary code, which is what the machine reads and you know, humans can't read this. So we have to change it back into assembly and then source code. And the source code is human readable. So then once we have the source code, we're gonna find exactly which line is blocking us. But we can't just change the source code here because it's not a perfect translation with the binary, but instead we're gonna have to look into the assembly code, which is a direct translation and change it there. In this case, it's just changing a jump instruction into a not jump instruction. And so now we can rerun this patched version and it won't block us. And now we're so close. When we click this button, we're gonna have the request that gets sent to Instagram that makes them send a text message. So let's click it. We see that it worked and we got the text message. And uh, bingo. And so here we were able to find the exact request that's needed for this hack. 
It's i.instagram.com slash API v1 users. Look up phone HTTP 2.0. And we can double check that this is all we need by hitting replay, which is gonna resend this request and seeing if we get another text message, which I did. But now we don't only want this to work for one username, we want it to work for any username. So how we can do this is first copy the request and put it into a new Python file. Then we can find the specific username we used and replace it with the variable that we input before sending the request. This is gonna allow us to put in any username and then Instagram will send the reset password link to their number. So when we try it and put in a different account, we see that it sends the request off and says success. And we get the reset link on our phone. And <laughs> that's actually kind of cool. Okay, yeah, so now potentially I could get half of my school, so, like, I don't know, Instagram accounts. Because honestly, I would fall for if my friend sent me a text message or like asking for a screenshot, I'd probably send it if I didn't research this before. But that's hella dumb. And I think this shouldn't happen and Instagram should fix this. And so I think what Instagram should do is, well, one, disable the SMS reset password thing because I don't think you can send a text message link without it being screenshotable in plain text. And also they need to repatch their API, which is what we're using to send the request to. And honestly, Instagram, if you're watching this, I could do this for you. I'm pretty sure Coinbase is about to lay me off any second now. So yeah, hit me up. Oh yeah, and how you cannot get hacked is, um, I would say just like don't send screenshots of reset passwords. Um, but honestly, I would fall for it too, like I said. So um, I don't know, now you know. And it's actually pretty common that hacks work like this. I think it's like 95% of all cybersecurity hacks are from user error. And yeah, this video is for educational purposes only. Um, Instagram actually already took down one of my videos, so like, I'm kind of tweaking about it. Like I'm risking it all on this one, kind of. But yeah, if you wanted to learn this stuff, it's like computer engineering, computer systems, slash CS. So I would say just like look into that. I think it's, it's pretty cool. And yeah, that's about it. Subscribe for more. Hit me up on Instagram. It's at notnang. Hopefully it doesn't get hacked. But yeah. That's about it. It's a native boat. Got a feeling, head on the gimmage, come and sip in, no lost an image, just like the villain.